Let's start by imagining a situation. Suppose the government decides to spend money on an employment program. It designates work sites and sets up training centers, but it does not allocate enough money to build creches for children, provide buses for commuting, set up public toilets or install street lights. What happens? A lot of men apply for the program, but few women do. Government programs and budgets often end up ignoring the differential needs of women. Women have experienced a lot of social, political and economic advances, yet many issues remain. Experts suggest that at the current rate, it will take more than 135 years to close the gender gap globally. Women often do not have equal access to the benefits and opportunities created by economic growth and development. One way of addressing this problem is Gender Responsive Budgeting GRB. GRB is a way to ensure that governments allocate and spend money in a way that recognizes women's needs removes barriers they face and improves their status. Does this mean two separate budgets? One for men and one for women? No, there will still be one budget. But that budget will be planned in a way that its benefits are equitably distributed between men and women. Okay, so GRB changes the way the government makes its budget? Yes, but not just that. Through GRB, the government pays attention to women's needs and experiences before the budget, when they plan their programs, and after the budget, during implementation. I understand. But doesn't the government already have schemes for women? Yes, but as shown by the statistics we mentioned earlier, more efforts are needed to achieve gender equality. Existing schemes may not be enough to address all gender challenges. A holistic approach is needed so women's needs can be addressed across sectors. Let's explore how gender-responsive budgeting is carried out globally. Over 100 countries in the world have adopted GRB in one form or the other. Some of the commonly used GRB tools are Does India practice gender-responsive budgeting? The answer is yes. We have talked about Gender Budget Statement GBS, as one of the common tools used to implement GRB. You must be wondering what the Gender Budget Statement is and what it contains. In India, the GBS is published every year with the Union Budget. It can be found under Statement 13 of a document called the Expenditure Profile. It has two parts, A and B. Part A shows the budget for schemes which are only for women and girls or schemes with 100% budget allocation for women. For example, Beti Bachao, Beti Parhao. Part B shows a part of the budget for general schemes which is earmarked for women and girl child. This could be between 30 to 99% of the total scheme budget, for example, part of the budget for MG Narega. You can access the gender budget statements of the union government as well as state governments on Open Budgets India OBI portal. 
it is an easy to navigate and useful portal as it provides all these documents at one place. We hope we could highlight some important concepts related to gender responsive budgeting through this video. We will be developing more such videos in the future to discuss more concepts related to GRB. Thank you for watching this video.